Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use Notebook LM and Gemini 2.5 to create a marketing plan from start to finish that can help you massively scale your business. Now, the hardest part about creating a marketing plan, especially if you don't know what you're doing, is knowing what will actually resonate with your audience, and especially if you're starting a brand new business. Now, the way that most people solve this is by guessing or copying competitors or spending way too many hours researching trends. But when you combine Notebook LM and Gemini 2.5, using the framework I'm gonna show you here today, you're gonna to be able to generate a complete marketing plan with high converting marketing ideas ideas in a matter of minutes tailored to your offer, tailored to your audience, and the specific problems that you solve for your audience. Now, if you're new here, my name is Rick Mulready, and for the past 11 and a half years, I've run a multi seven-figure online business helping other online businesses grow and scale their business. Today, I run a membership called the AI Playbook, where I help online businesses leverage AI so that you can scale your business more efficiently and become more profitable in the process. I'll link to the membership in the description below. Okay, to show you how powerful Notebook LM is for marketing ideas, I'm gonna use a fictional business that I've just made up. And the business is a new online membership for people who wanna start a dog training business. Now, I know nothing about dog training, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. If this is something that you wanna do, by the way, awesome, steal everything I'm about to share with you and use it for your own for your own business. I'm first gonna get a super deep understanding of my target audience. Then I'm gonna use Notebook LM's various features like the Discover Sources feature, Mind Maps feature, the Notes feature, the Audio Overview feature to ultimately create the membership offer, a full marketing plan for it, and a lead magnet so that we can start generating leads for the business. So we're inside of Notebook LM here. We wanna create a new notebook, notebooklm.google.com click on the create new. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Discover Sources feature. If you've never used the Discover Sources feature, I'm gonna link to another video, either here or here, uh, that I've done previously that talks all about how to use Discover Sources. But basically, we're able to search the web right from within Notebook LM now. So I'm gonna paste in my first search. And basically what we're doing here is we want to learn as much as we possibly can about our target audience and the opportunities that we have to serve them with our membership. So I'm telling it what I'm doing to give it a little bit of context and I'm asking it to find sources that can help me identify opportunities for how best to serve this audience. And so I'm going to click on submit. Okay, the sources have finished uploading and now I'm going to use the mind map feature here because I, I'm a very visual person. And so I'm gonna click on mind map and what it's gonna do, it's gonna break down the information within all these 10 sources into a visual representation of all the different topics and opportunities that are presented here. So let's click on this and see what it comes up with. So as you can see here, by looking at this mind map, we have a really good foundation for this entire project. And the mind map has really confirmed that for me. So getting clients, again, I can just really dig into each one of these areas here and now I know that we are on the right path. So now that we've used the Discover Sources feature and the Mind Map feature here in Notebook LM to establish that yes, we have a great foundation for this project, now we wanna dig into the target audience a lot more deeply so that we can be sure and understand their pain points, their challenges, their desires, so that we can be speaking directly to them both with our offer and our marketing copy. So this next step is using a prompt that I've written all about generating a comprehensive list of these challenges, pain points, and desires for the target audience for this new online membership. And by the way, I'm getting all these prompts from our AI workflow and agent hub that we've created for our AI playbook members. So for example, I can come into the marketing hub right here and I can look at the different workflows and agents and click on, uh, let's see here, offers, promise, builder, come down here. I can do it right here within the site and then also the prompt behind all this. We share all of this with our AI Playbook members. All right, let's click go and see what the result is from this prompt. And here's the result, starting a dog training business, exciting journey, challenges and pain points, uncertainty about where to begin, feeling qualified, navigating a saturated market, uh, then desires. It's, it's actually really given me a really nice thorough output here. So what I'm gonna do is again, this is a really cool way to take advantage of Notebook LM's features here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on save to note. So it's gonna create a brand new note over here about starting a dog training business. And I'm gonna click on this and then go to the bottom 
and I'm gonna click on convert to source. By doing that, it's gonna show up now over in my list of sources. And this is one thing that really makes Notebook LM unique in what we're doing here is we're able to get this information either by searching the web within Notebook LM or using the Gemini 2.5 flash model right here within Notebook LM. We're basically building this knowledge base and then able to build off of that knowledge the more that we go through this project. It makes it so much easier. Now, another thing I like to do with the results that Notebook LM is giving me here, I like to copy them and then go into a Google Doc, and then paste it in here, as you can see, and now I'm starting to create this really nice like table of contents over here as we build out our entire marketing plan. Now, before going on to the next step of creating our user personas, I wanna again use the mind map feature to create a mind map of the uh, pain points, challenges, and desires. So to see if I need to dig into anything any further before moving on to that next step. Okay, and here is the result, challenges and obstacles. I can click this out, feeling qualified. It goes through, and let's just say reaching clients uh, effectively knowing target audience, connecting with them, ineffective marketing spend. So ineffective marketing spend, maybe that's something I wanna dig into a little bit later on when I'm putting together the marketing plan itself. But for right now, I know it's here because I can always click on this again and it will pull up the specific information in all of our sources that are about ineffective marketing spend. Okay, now that we have our challenges, pain points, and desires, the next step in our framework is to create a few user personas. I like to create like three user personas so that we can be sure that we are speaking directly to those people in our marketing copy and again, in our offer. So again, I'm gonna come back over here. I've written a prompt for this. And again, as you can see here, the goal here is to create three distinct fictional personas who represent potential buyers of my membership. So I'm gonna click on go and see what it comes up with. All right, it's just generated my three fictional personas, Sarah, uh, Marcus, and David. It gives a backstory for each person, motivations for enrolling in the membership, uh, a quote. This is super helpful information to have, again, as we continue on creating our marketing plan. So just like we did before, I'm gonna save this to a note. It's gonna show up on the right-hand side here. And I'm also gonna open it up and convert it to a source. So again, it's gonna show up in our left-hand side. Again, this is so important because it's building off of each other as we move along here. Now that we have our user personas, the next step in my framework here is I wanna do a little bit of competitive research. And to do that, we're going to use the discover sources feature. And I'm just going to simply going to type in here, find me the top monthly paid online memberships catered to people who want to start a dog training business. Click on submit and we'll see what kind of sources it comes up with. Okay. Here are the 10 resources that it found. I'm not super psyched about the resources that it found, but let's go ahead and click on import and we'll add them to our sources here. And we'll see how they do here, especially with our next question, because now we want to get into a competitive analysis of those businesses. So now that we have all that new information, let's do a competitive analysis for our membership that we wanna start. And I'm gonna use this prompt here that I've written. Again, it's a really basic one. You're a world-class competitive market researcher. Your task is to generate a comprehensive and detailed competitive analysis for, and I'm telling you what my business is. And this just generated that report for me. Let's take a look here. Drawing on the provided sources and conversation history, Here's a comprehensive com competitive analysis based on the sources. And here are the key types of competitors and their offerings. I love it. So these are online memberships and group, uh, group coaching, dog biz, Thrive, the modern dog trainer. All right, so I really like the job that it's done here with this competitive analysis. So again, we're gonna do the same thing that we did before is we're gonna convert this to a note or save it to a note, I should say. And then we're gonna click on it. We're gonna add it to the list of sources over on the left-hand side. So I wanna take one more step here in our marketing process before we start to flesh out the actual offer. I wanna do a SWOT analysis of the competitors that it just found. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put a prompt in here. You're a world-class SWOT analysis researcher. Your task is to generate a comprehensive SWOT analysis based on the identified competitors and my online membership idea. Let's go ahead and click go, see what it comes up with. All right, here's the SWOT analysis for this online membership. So uh, strengths, targeted focus on beginners, step-by-step -step guidance, comprehensive business coverage, and so on. It gives the weaknesses opportunities, the threats. All right, awesome. Again, we're gonna click on save to note. I'm gonna open this up again, convert it to a source. Awesome, it's been added over there. Okay, now that we've done all of our research here, really understanding our target audience, their pain points, their challenges, we've done a competitive analysis, we've done a SWOT analysis. I think we pretty well understand our target audience and how we can differentiate what we're putting together here in terms of the membership. Now, 
let's use Gemini here within Notebook LM to help us create an offer for the membership. So here's the prompt that I've just put in here. Based on this research and the SWOT analysis, give me a comprehensive recommendation for what my membership offer should include. And don't forget the great thing about Notebook LM as we use these prompts and we continue to put these prompts in is that it's feeding off of all the project knowledge that we've gained up to this point. All right, so let's see what it comes up with for an offer. And here's what it's come up with for an offer recommendation. So core curriculum, it's breaking it all down, confidence and mindset building, uh, niche identification, marketing strategies. Okay, scalable support and accountability, pricing recommendations. All right, cool, I like this. So let's go ahead again, click on save to note. When it's over here, I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna convert it to a source again. So again, we're adding to our project knowledge uh, base that we're building. So now that we have the makeup of our offer and all of this amazing research about our target audience, let's create a USP, a unique selling proposition so that we can start to create marketing copy and the marketing plan for the membership. And we're gonna use the uh, Gemini 2.5 chat here. And I've written this prompt about creating a USP. Let's, let's click on go and see what it comes up with. Okay, and it's pretty good. I've asked it to be short and concise. So you can see here in the prompt under 20 words. And here is the USP that it's created, your step-by-step -step roadmap to confidently launching your dog training business. Okay, cool, not too bad. Gives the strengths for it, gives the weaknesses for it. Now I could use the weaknesses that it's just given me here and iterate on the output that it just gave me. But I think this is good enough because again, requires elaboration. Make sure that you are elaborating on it in the accompanying marketing materials, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So again, I wanna click the save to note and open this up. I wanna to click to convert that to a source. Now that I've done that, we've expanded our knowledge source again. And the next thing I wanna do here is to create our full marketing strategy based on all the information that we've created up to this point. And again, I've written a really comprehensive prompt for generating a detailed online marketing plan to launch this monthly membership. So let's go ahead and click go and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, and here it is. It says, let's map out a comprehensive online marketing plan to successfully launch the membership. The gives us a launch strategy roadmap, phase one, phase two, phase three. Uh, this would be great to create a timeline out of over here uh, in the notes section. Uh, gives us a messaging framework, gives us core hooks. It's a really comprehensive marketing plan that we can just basically take and plug and play. Now, again, what I'm gonna do here, oh, also it's given us email, uh, email marketing sequences, both pre and post launch. Uh, breaks down what each email should be. It's given us social media content calendar, love it. All right, let's go to the bottom here and it's really comprehensive. Oh, also it has given us naming suggestions for the membership. The Dog Biz Launchpad, Confident Canine Careers, Your First Client Roadmap, The Puppy Biz Blueprint, uh, launch your leash life, <laughs> kind of like that. Um, so yeah, so again, we're gonna click on save to note. We're gonna click on the note. We're gonna convert that to a source. And the other thing I wanna do, remember earlier we started the Google Doc. So we wanna bring some of this information over into our Google Doc. So we're gonna go back here and copy this. We're gonna go back over to our Google Doc. Now I should have earlier remembered to go and copy and paste as the response came out. But of course I didn't do that, but that's okay. I'm gonna go back over to our Google doc here and go to the bottom and paste in my personas in this case here. And again, we have a headline. So it's showing up over here in our nice table of contents for our marketing plan from start to finish. And now we've reached the final step in this whole process here. I wanna use all this information to create a lead magnet so that we can start generating leads and building an email list because for 11 and a half years now, I've always, always sold an offer before selling it because I wanna validate the offer before I go spending all this time creating the actual offer. And now right within Notebook LM here, we have all the information that we need in order to do this. So let's have Gemini right inside Notebook LM here, create me some lead magnet ideas that we can take a look at. All right, and I asked it for five, it's giving me five, the ultimate dog trainer business startup checklist, simple guide to dog trainer business insurance and legal basics, five low cost, high impact ways to get your first clients. I like that. Uh, the essential client agreement, quick guide, uh, your pricing. Uh, I like that. I like this actually. So I'm going to go with number three. And again, I'm going to save this as a note. And I'm also going to convert it to a source. 
I don't necessarily need to add this to my Google Doc, but what I, I do want to capture it though. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go with number three and I'm going to say, uh, great, create number three for me. And here's what it produced for me when I asked it to create that lead magnet. I actually don't like this at all. So what I just did is I said, no, I want you to write the entire lead magnet so that I can copy and paste it straight into a Google Doc. Now, I like this a lot better. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, copy the name of the lead magnet. Again, I'm going to save it to a note. I'm also going to create a source out of it because now what I can do is I can just go ahead and take this and I can go ahead and copy this over. So I'm going to go ahead and hit click on copy. I'm going to go back over to my Google Doc. I'm going to go to the bottom. So I've just added it to my Google Doc and I want to do one more thing before we complete this entire project. What I want to do with that lead magnet, in addition to creating a PDF download as a lead magnet, I want to create an audio version of that lead magnet. So this is where the deep dive, the audio overview deep dive comes in. And I wanna click on customize, because if I click on generate, it's gonna create an audio overview of everything that we've just done here in this project. Now specifically, I wanna create a podcast on that specific lead magnet. So what I've done is I've just pasted in the name of that lead magnet. So now it will reference that specific source with that name for the lead magnet. So I'll go ahead and click on generate so that it creates an audio overview. You can see here, what I've done is I've checked, I've unchecked all the other sources over in the source files and I've left the lead magnet that we just created uh, checked. So you can see here, generating conversation based on one source. So now it's creating an audio overview, basically a podcast, if you will, of that lead magnet. So now when I market the lead magnet, I can market the PDF version of lead magnet and an audio version of lead magnet. And in wrapping up the lead magnet, we've now put together a complete comprehensive start to finish marketing plan for our dog training business membership. And in looking at the Google Doc, it is 44 pages long. We put this together in a matter of several minutes, right? Using the features of Notebook LM and Google Gemini 2.5 right within Notebook LM. So hopefully you can see all the cool things that you can do. And remember, this is just one use case, one idea that you can use Notebook LM for. It is a super powerful tool and the best part, it's totally free. If you want more use cases and more ideas for leveraging AI in your online business, I want to invite you to check out a seven-day free trial of my membership called the AI Playbook. I'll link to it in the description below. As always, thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.